Today Inside EVs, they issued an article saying the Tesla Cybertruck's charging speed is no better than a Ford F-150. I mean, literally, that's what their website says, that they tested it for 500 miles and they now know the Cybertruck doesn't charge any faster than a Ford F-150. However, within the last few hours, numerous sources have revealed that the Cybertruck actually charges on 350 kilowatt charges at a max charging rate of about 330 kilowatt charging speeds. At least that's what's been discovered so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. The first Tesla Cybertruck charging session on an 800 volt NAX charger revealed the Cybertruck actually charged at a speed of 327 kilowatt. That's about 30% faster than existing 250 kilowatt limits on Tesla's V3 superchargers. Yes, there's not many V4 superchargers around. There's a couple in Australia, there's a couple in Europe, there's a few in America. But keep in mind that Tesla is planning on basically owning the supercharging market. It already has about 60% market share in America. It's, it's basically going to build out thousands of V4 superchargers. So even though they don't exist yet, or not many exist yet, they will within the next few years. Now, although the Cybertruck does have an 800 volt architecture, due to the limitations of V3 superchargers, it, you know, it charges at a, a much slower speed than that on a V3 supercharger, about 400 volts. And because GM Silverado, which you can't buy, and GM's Hummer EV, which is enormous and enormously expensive, because they have split the battery pack in two, it actually they can charge quite a bit faster than what they what you would think. They actually charge about double the speed than what they actually say they do. So yes, it's true that they charge very well, but whether or not they'd be able to hit 330 kilowatt charging speeds on a 350 kilowatt fast charger, no one really knows yet because that hasn't been tested. Now you might be curious to wonder, was this actually done on a Tesla supercharger? Well, actually it wasn't. This charging was done on a third party charger from NXU, a technology company that specializes in innovative EV charging and energy storage solutions. NXU's NXU1 charging station helped the Cybertruck reach a peak charging speed of 327 kilowatt. The test was validated with several Cybertruck vehicles and an NXU1 charging station earlier this week. The Cybertruck with its 800 volt architecture reached, a, reached an a actual voltage of 814 volts. Peak current was 462 amps. Now you can see here from this charging peak um, calculator here, this would enable the Cybertruck to charge much, much faster than it's currently charging. At the moment, V3 superchargers, Tesla Cybertruck charging speeds are really not that impressive. This is a completely different story though. At charging speed, in my opinion, in a vehicle like the Cybertruck or the F-150 Lightning or the Rivian R1T, I think it's really important. And the reason I say this is because a lot of pickup truck owners, they're the ones who, to be honest, in my experience, are more likely to do road trips. They're more likely to need that extra battery size, but it doesn't take that really that long to charge a 60 kilowatt battery. But if you've got a 123 kilowatt hour battery or a bigger battery like what you see in the Ford F-150 Lightning, um, then you know, you're gonna need to charge faster because you have gotta charge a much bigger battery. And that's when you're gonna to have to be waiting around. You gotta charge a bigger battery pack. You might, get, you might get a bit annoyed, right? EV companies are gearing up for the ability to charge their vehicles much faster with development of 800 volt architecture or 400 volt and then doing what General Motors are doing by splitting the battery pack in two, basically charging the two different batteries at the same time, which is a really good idea. BYD have actually uh, patented that in China as well. Here's what NSU said. The NSU team has worked incredibly hard to validate the charging power of NXU1 charging systems in real world scenarios. We believe we've created one of the fastest charging units available today. And now we have the data to substantiate those claims. Our aim is to enhance the EV charging ecosystem by providing reliable and fast charging solutions for every make, model, or size of EV. The Cybertruck charging sessions are a huge step towards realizing that goal. Tesla confirmed in October 2023 that the Cybertruck does have an 800 volt architecture. Now, I personally think the Cybertruck will get a software update within the next few months, enabling it to have faster charging speeds. I think at this point, Tesla is still kind of testing out the 4680 battery capability and the 800 volt capability, waiting to see if there's any issues. 
But I think it's likely Tesla will do what they did in the past with the Model 3 and the Model Y and accelerate the charging speeds through a software update. They did that a few years ago. Very good chance, in my opinion, that will happen with the Cybertruck to increase its peak charging speeds. But not only that, to be able, be able to enable the Cybertruck to maintain a higher peak charging rate for longer to enable the battery pack to charge quicker. I think it will happen. I can't say for sure, but it's pretty likely. Thanks for watching.